Okay, welcome back everybody. This is UniQuest level four. My name is Chris Hoodiewai and today we're going to be doing riding in a circle, rolling, bunny hop, riding, one footer, and jump mount. Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we're going to be doing, riding in a circle. So just like in the last episode, you learned to do a 180 turn. Now we're going to complete that turn, do a full 360. Just keep leaning. Most important thing, keep your momentum up like this, keep pedaling. Try and go fast. The faster you go, the easier it's going to be and the more, more balanced it's going to be. At first, I want you to start as wide as possible, as wide as possible. But as you get better at doing a circle, riding in a circle, I want you to try and reduce the amount of revs that it takes. For me, riding in a full circle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About nine or eight revs for a full circle for me. So once you have that down, perfect. Try and reduce the amount of revs that it takes for you to go that full 360. So if I emphasize more on leaning, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's about two revs left. And when you get really good at it, you should be able to reduce your revs to around about three or four. And if you're really clever, maybe two. But if you go like this, really turn into it like this, that's about three revs. Try and watch what I do with my arms, okay? When I turn into the circle, I really kind of throw my arms that way. And then when I want to exit the circle, I throw them the opposite way to regain my balance. Another thing that you can try is placing an obstacle on the ground like this for you to focus on and riding around that obstacle. So looking at the obstacle, leaning towards it, still looking at it, looking at it, leaning towards it, looking at it, looking at it, and you're done. Okay, so next, rolling bunny hop. So it's called a rolling bunny hop because it's a bunny hop while you're rolling or moving forward. So riding, 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 and without coming to a complete stop, bunny hop. Just remember you want to figure out if you have your right foot in the front or your left foot in the front, okay? For me, I prefer having my right foot in the front, just like this. But for you, it might be like that, with your left foot in the front. So just figure out what works for you, try both sides, test it out. Important thing to practice for rolling bunny hop is getting used to having one of your hands on the handle, just like this, ready for the bunny hop and getting used to pedaling, riding with just one hand to balance and regain your stability with. And now, without coming to a complete stop, I want you to focus on slowing down, nearly coming to a complete stop, and then doing your bunny hop. The one thing you're gonna struggle with is going up into the air, coming back down, and then regaining your forward momentum. Riding forward, hand on the handle, slowing down, coming to a stop, make sure your dominant foot is in the front, bunny hop, lean forward, and ride. If this is your first rolling hop or bunny hop attempt, don't worry about going too high. Keep it nice and low, as small as possible. Literally as small as possible. Like that. If you're struggling to get the unicycle off the ground, a few tips for additional height. One thing you can do is push your tire into the ground, compress it into the ground and get a bit of bounce, use it as a spring, like that. Use your knees like a spring. You can see my knees are quite bent, but then when I want to bunny hop, when I want to jump, kind of snap them, snap them straight, just like that, and then bend them again on the landing. And if you're still struggling to get the unicycle off the ground, you can try with two hands. If you're still struggling, there's a few more things you can do. Don't be afraid to try assisted bunny hops again. One thing that's great to try is, while holding on, get used to bunny hopping, and then let go for a little bit, bunny hop a few times, and then right away. And don't forget to also try pedaling into it. Bunny hop riding again. Okay, next up we're going to be doing riding one footer, just like this. Riding forwards, riding forwards, then taking one foot off just for a little bit, and then back on again. Quite often when people try this for the first time, they freak out a little bit, they take their foot off, then they don't know what to do, and they fall over. The most important thing for you to think about is maintaining your momentum, not coming to a complete stop, just briefly lifting your foot off of the pedal, and then back on again, continue pedaling. Start small, don't worry about doing a big one footer. Just, you know, a little tiny one, just like that. Just as small as you can, as small as you can. The most difficult part about this trick is probably understanding when you're going to be taking your foot off the pedal. So when your foot about comes to the top like that, that's when you want to take your foot off. So I'll try to do it really slowly. When your foot basically gets to the top, so about now, take it off, put it back on. 
But don't forget you want to maintain that momentum, just like this. Another variation of this trick is to keep pedaling while your foot is off, like this. And it basically, basically does a whole half rev, goes all the way back around and then connects with your foot again. So you can do it like this, take your foot off and then straight back on again. Not really doing any pedaling at all. Or you can briefly take your foot off and keep pedaling and let the pedal come around and you catch it at the back. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna be doing, jump mount. It may look scary, but don't worry, it's a lot easier than it looks. Hold on to your assistance. Don't worry about riding anywhere just yet. Just practice jumping on like this. Don't ride anywhere, step back off, jump back on. Do that over and over until it feels natural, then get rid of your assistance, jump on, ride away. Okay, so let's break this down. How do we do a jump mount? So you wanna make sure that your dominant foot is in front, cranks parallel with the ground. You can flatten out your pedals like this if they're distracting you. You can do it jumping off two feet like this. You can do it off one foot, just like this. Kind of like add some swing to it like this. Maybe it'll help you, who knows? You can try it with one foot with your other leg as well, like this. In terms of where the seat is gonna be, you can either have it like that, you jump up and then put the seat under you, like this. Or, seat close to the ground like this and you bring the seat up as you jump, like this. If you want, you can walk into it like this, jumping off one foot, or walking into it, jumping off of both feet. Once you land back onto the pedals, don't forget about everything you previously learned about how to ride. As soon as you land back onto the seat, sit down, relax your legs, straight back, leaning forward from your hips. Okay? Keep in mind that if you're walking, running, or doing anything that's gonna make your unicycle move, this is gonna change the alignment of your cranks. You wanna be jumping when your cranks are parallel like this, but if you move at all, it's gonna be like that or like that. So all I'm saying is that if you're moving around, changing that alignment, try to anticipate where your cranks are gonna be. If you know your cranks are gonna move forward a little bit, try and start like this, so that when you anticipate it's gonna move forward, it's gonna move into that parallel position, perfect for you to land. So like this, for example, the crank's facing downwards, kind of perpendicular coming out of the ground. We want it to be parallel like this, okay? So if I'm doing a move where I know I'm gonna be moving forward slightly, I'm gonna line my unicycle up like this so it's parallel, and then I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit so that when I do my move where I'm going forward, I'm gonna anticipate that they're gonna balance out like that and come flat, like just like this, just like this. If I'm doing a jump mount and I'm walking into it, I'll anticipate that my cranks are gonna be flat like that. Hand positioning, so for the jump mount, you can grab the seat wherever is comfortable, but I recommend having at least one hand on the very front, and if you're gonna hold the seat anywhere else, as soon as you jump, you have to let go, otherwise that hand is gonna get you all tangled up. So one hand as far in the front as is possible, other hand wherever you want, but when you jump and land back on the uni, you need to let go like this. Something I see people struggling with quite a lot is landing with both feet at different times. So you ideally wanna land with both feet at the same time, like that. Sometimes you'll see people jumping on like this, like one foot after the other. Uh, you can learn this way. It's possible to put one foot on before the other one kind of like that, but what you will find is if you land with a lot of weight on one foot and your other foot isn't there to catch it, you're gonna smash that pedal into your shin. Something like, kind of like this, you're gonna go like, and it's gonna fall back like that. So try and focus landing on both feet the exact same time for a nice clean landing. One where you can bend your knees equally on both legs for a nice shock absorbed landing. And the last thing you wanna worry about is leaning forward once you're back on the unicycle. So one thing that's really good to think about is when you jump, when you do your jump mount, think about how you're gonna leave this spot and you're gonna jump forward. You're gonna probably land about there. You're gonna have a bit of forward momentum with your jump. So try and think about using that forward momentum to stay leaning forward, to then pedal forward. So that's the end for level four. Congratulations, everybody. Remember, practice hard, don't give up. And one thing that's really important, 
master every skill, every trick that I show you because they're all prerequisites for further skills that we're gonna learn further down in the series. So don't just learn them, actually master them to the point where you feel like you're gonna be able to add something on to make them even more difficult. So like I said, best of luck, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video. Kia ora koutou. one other thing, just a little service announcement. I've decided to jump on Patreon for UniQuest. So if you are appreciating these videos, if you really like what you see, you can jump on Patreon. There are a few different funding perks like early access, some bonus material. Uh, when I do a little day edit and I want to just do some tricks and film and put it in a little video, I'll put it on Patreon for some exclusive access for people that are choosing to support UniQuest. So jump on Patreon, check it out. If you like what you see, maybe consider giving a donation and thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying the series and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.